That's what I'm saying. <laughs> So we're gonna go to the Hawks, who are <laughs> played the Whitehead what does that have a bigger impact with than Ben Simmons is here on the net. I'm letting you know, have multiple championships from us. Listen, from listen, us. listen. All the fame chatters, bro. They know listen, bro. From us. Listen, bro. Forty-one wins, the Atlanta Hawks. And if we're not saying over, we might as well end this stream right now. Barely. Oh my God, under. Justin. I'm, 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 I'm saying I'm, under. I'm wait, wait. 40, what? You said 41 wins? 41. They went 41 the and 41 last good, year. Trey been training with Steph Curry. Team. I got to go up. Got to go up. The Hawks are not. I've seen the tape. Good, bro. I'm over on the Hawks. Who says yeah, under? Yeah. Or not, I, 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 I'm under on the Hawks, but I'm over the Hawks. John, what do you say? I say over. Over? Okay. So I'll move y'all like this because these two are under. So. Well, actually, I'll let Gary and Gabe make their cases first because they're, you know. Haters. Go ahead. Why, why do y'all say under? I just don't think the Hawks are that good. That That's just, just my thing. Like, and yeah, granted, I know a lot of people were not high on John Collins last year because he did have a down year, but I didn't feel like they got enough back for him personally, and I don't think they really made, like, any – drastic moves that can make me think that either. They still have Clint Capella there, and I feel like maybe if they were starting Okongwu, I'd feel a little bit more better like in them this season, but bro, they're just they're just like in a weird position, and I think there's other teams below them that are going to get better. Someone's got to lose a few more games. It's going to be the Hawks as one of those teams. Yeah, Fair enough. I'm, I'm, we do I'm have... very not sold on, on this roster. Like, I'm still not sold on just, like DeJounte Murray and Trey Young working that well together. I think last year, like, a lot of their lineups showed that it was almost better when, like, they weren't on the court together. And it's like those guys are still going to be playing a lot of minutes together because, I mean, they cashed in assets to get DeJounte as a co-star. So you're not just going to stagger them the entire time. And I'm still not sold on them in total as a defensive team either, just across the board. And it's like you're going to have to rely on big jumps from guys that I don't think are, like, shoe ins to have those big jumps for them to get that much better. Well, let me – and before you guys hop in there, my thing with that is the tandem between Trey and DeJounte, for the large part, it didn't work, not because of this their styles clashing or anything like that. It was more so their coaching. Nate McMillan was not doing what he needed to do for that team, and it was nasty. It got ugly very quick. And then once Quinn Snyder did take over – it started to look a lot better for this team. And if we do remember, Quinn Snyder is a defensive-minded coach with some defensive-minded players on the team. DeJounte did take a little step back on the defensive end, but he is still a very good defensive guard. Onyeka, great defensive player. Clint Capella is still a great defensive player. You got Jalen Johnson on the back end as well. Like you, you, They do have talent there that, you know, I, I personally can see them winning more than 41 games. Hey, My I got to I gotta say, Go ahead, Justin. I am so far. I, I I completely agree with Gabe and Garrett here. Like, Clint Capella, albeit he is a good defender, I'll give him good defender at this point in his career. That's all he gets from me. And I, I just I don't see how this team functions unless like my biggest thing, in my opinion, is DeAndre Hunter needs to show something more than what he has shown for me to cons like strongly consider this team to get any better at all. So once that happens, maybe so. But Trey Young, I mean, I'm just kind of consistent on him. I've been, I felt the same way about Trey Young when he was a rookie uh, uh, to how he is now. I knew what he was going to be, and this is what he's going to be. I don't expect him to get any better. I don't expect him to get past where he had gotten in, in in previous years in his career because they had that one crazy run. And Jonte Murray, I'm a known hater on him. So I just don't think this team's going to work out at all. Honestly, my reasoning on them being over is the fact that, like, they just had such a crazy turmoil a year this last year. Like, you just can't expect another year with so much turmoil. It's just, like, so much stuff was going wrong last season that, you know, they ended up 41-41. and 41. While, granted, I agree with, like, what what, what the, the first three guys are saying, you know, Gabe, Garrett, and Jelson, but, like, their roster really isn't great. I totally agree. Uh, with Collins being out, that is going to give the chance for DeAndre Hutton to get more minutes and maybe show that that you were just talking about, Jelson. Uh, but ultimately, I think that, you, like, you're just not going to have a year where fucking everything goes wrong again. And I think that even if it's, like, a 42-43 win season, I think it's going to be more than uh, than what they had last year. That's why I got over. 
Yeah, uh, I, I got over as well, but I, I don't think it's going to be uh, by a lot of games. My biggest uh, X factor for this Atlanta Hawks team to take that next step is DeAndre Hunter, bro. I mean, we've been waiting for years for this guy to really step up and be that third star. And I don't, I don't think the fault lies on a Trey Young or DeJounte. I think it's DeAndre Hunter, bro. I, he needs to be that guy at, the, at that mm-hmm. wing position to really step up and, you know what I'm saying, be the two-way player that they drafted him to be. And also, I need A.J. Griffin to get, get more PT. Uh, Quinn Snyder, what the fuck are you doing? Mm-hmm. My Christian brother. Yeah. I think DeAndre yeah. Hunter has the capabilities. Like, he's just – We've seen it. We've seen it. He's injury prone a little too much. And also, like, just he hasn't been used completely the right way. But I feel like he could be great. But go ahead, Devin. To his credit, he was available last year, so hopefully that continues. But I, I'm right there yeah. with you, Jay. Even before John Collins was traded, I know Gabe will attest to this. I've been saying for quite a while now, for the Hawks to be successful beyond what they've been, DeAndre Hunter has to comfortably be their third best player, and mm-hmm. he just hasn't been. And until he is, and now it'll be a little bit more obvious because John Collins isn't there, but now like he needs to take that step. Until then, they're going to remain in and around the same spot. I have them over, but it's by a game. Someone needs to take that leap. That's valid. We're going to move on. 